Hello there, Virgo. This is your May 2023 bonus reading. Let's see what's happening for Virgo. What is going on here? We have, ooh, the Nine of Wands. Are you building something to protect yourself? It's like um, putting up the last wand here. Protection. Protecting your assets. Protecting something here. Being ready to defend yourself. Okay, we have here. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, because you're doing something on your own here. It feels like you're building something. You're building a business. You're building something here, and you're protecting yourself. Uh, independent here. And we have, ah, someone might be trying to find out what you're up to. Page of Swords, Spy Guy, Spy Girl. You might be kind of secretly doing something, and someone's wondering what you're doing here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we have here. Uh, yeah, because you're changing. Here's a lizard. They, my, people might notice that you're changing. Probably because you're trying to do something here. On your own. Let's see. In the past, we had, yeah, you, you're you building something. I definitely feel like you're building something. Here's your above the rest. So maybe in your work or whatever you do for a living, you are a very being very accomplished. You say, you know what? Let me do this on my own. Let me start some uh, my own business. That's what it feels like here. Okay, what we'll possibly come in the very near future. Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces Energy. Someone coming with some love for you. Let's see here. We have, there's some change here. We have the Butterfly, Queen of Cups. Someone's coming to express their love. Very intuitive person. Now, what else could be coming in for you? Oh, this person might also be someone from the past. Maybe they have a lot of regret or remorse for something that happened here. Coming in to try to fix things. Not seeing the possibility that might work, though. Okay. Outside influences. We have ooh, three of cups. Now, this could be maybe someone wanting to party with you, wanting to take you out. Maybe some kind of social event might be coming up for you. It also could be a third-party situation, but I don't feel that. But we'll see when we get the other cards, when we clarify. How do people see you? Ooh, see, I, I, this makes like you're hiding things. I think you are. I think you're starting out, starting to do something. You want to branch out, do your own thing. And you're not letting people know. You could also be maybe moving, looking for another job. And you're like doing this secretly. And people are wondering, what you up to? Okay, hopes or fears. The sun, happiness, Leo energy. You want happiness to come in. This is your possible outcome. We have the emperor. And we have the five of wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, there's a passion new beginning coming for you. I really think that you're starting your own thing. Here's the Emperor being charged. This is your energy. You're taking control of your life. You're in charge. You're, you're going to be a leader here. There might be competition um, or people getting, I don't know, more like or people are arguing or they don't like the fact that you are branching out on your own. You're looking over at, at this Queen of Cups, so this is someone that's interested in you. So there is a possibility for this romance to come in here too. And the Ten of Pentacles, this could be a long-term commitment or it could be coming in as a lot of money coming in for you. A lot of honey, a lot of honey, a lot of money, honey, I want to say. Maybe a lot of honey too. Maybe you work with honey. <laughs> Maybe you have bees. I don't know. That could be for someone. Okay, let's clarify. Why is the nine of wands here? Why is the nine of wands here? The king of wands. Okay. Yeah, I think you're starting something new here. I feel like you're the king of wands too. It's like you're very creative. You're looking at doing something new. Um... You, know, you want to get, it feels like, okay, I've been doing all the work. Let me get compensated for it. Let me start my own thing here. And we have here fish, a goldfish. This means prosperity. This means flow. This also could be a spiritual connection. Okay, the king of wands. And this nine of pentacles. I'm loving it. Nine of pentacles. We have the sun. Yes, if you do your own thing here, you'll be very successful, very happy at doing your own thing or whatever you're trying to do here. What about this page of swords, a spy guy? Someone watching you. Or you get, maybe people are noticing your work too. Okay, we have here the six of wands. Victory. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna win here. This is going to be, everybody's going to be watching you. You're going to get a lot of attention. People might want to follow you. Follow suit here. What about the seven of wands in the past? Okay. There might have been someone that wanted a commitment. Or maybe you were in a commitment here. 
because this is more like the commitment card here the four of wands a connection or if someone wanted come in you were the one that was above the rest here for this commitment could be setting a foundation too i really do feel like it's a business though this could be a partnership in a business okay what about this queen of cups why is the queen of cups here for you we have the page of pentacles there's an offer coming in this queen of uh, cups might be making an offer towards you or you could be the queen of cups too but i'm feeling like the queen of cups is coming in for offer for you here independent cat balance someone wants to make an offer business offer proposition could be a love offer okay now what about the five of cups why is the five of cups here the higher event yes yeah, someone wants commitment and they might feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you now they want to come back around could be a taurus what about this three of cups Six of Cups. Yeah, someone from the past wants to come back in. This is an outside influence. They want to ask you out. They want to maybe ask you to an event or ask you out for drinks or coffee or lunch, dinner. Okay, what about the Seven of Swords, how people see you? The Star. See, I think people know that you have something going on here. You are standing out. You're getting a lot of hopes and dreams and wishes come true but you're keeping things to yourself you're not letting people know what you're trying to do here and that's good and then we have is this the sun here um you have the sun for your hopes and wishes okay leo energy hopes and wishes we have here the hermit see this is you're doing your own thing here i really feel like you're going within here's you know the sun and we have the light here the lantern i think you are waking up to that you need to be on your own you need to branch out you need to do your own thing here going within trying to find the answers you do a lot of research too with the hermit and this is virgo energy so yeah this is you in your element you could be healing something here or you could also be learning something or you maybe you want to teach someone because the hermit is the teacher it's a student it's also the healer what about the emperor why is the emperor here Seven of Wands, because you're above the rest. Look at that. You're standing above everybody else. You're like, you're the emperor. You're the star. I don't think people are too happy about it either. What about this Five of Wands, this competition, this battle, arguments? Five has changed too. But you have the strength to conquer all here. Leo energy. You have the strength. No matter what someone throws at you, you can handle this. What about this Ten of Pentacles? two of wands okay you're going to make a choice here might be a couple different ways you can do this we do have the ace of wands brand new start beginning and we have here the queen of pentacles okay taurus virgo capricorn this is someone that is really focused on their money able to make a lot of money does a good job here i think you are totally focused on your money here okay we have the tree yeah you're growing your money look at that a tree also be past life connection could be something that's solid mature something that's going to be really branching out for you something that you're going to expand i think you're starting a business you're going to be able to expand it before you know it it's just going to take off i feel like it's someone's really going to have something that really takes off for them okay so now let's see what else we have for you what else do we have here for virgo what else see the emperor again aries energy but i think it's you standing your ground protecting yourself and you're coming in, you're bringing you're com coming into a lot of money here you might be setting up your empire you might be um you know setting up something for generations of wealth here this is big okay and then we have the queen of cups here someone have a lot of love and um very intuitive nice connection here scorpio cancer pisces we have the key they have a key yes they hold the answers to you. They hold, or you hold the answers for them. Whatever this, this is, a nice connection, though. I'm feeling. Here's a key, maybe a key to your heart. Let's see what else we have here. The world. Yeah, you're completing a cycle to start something new. You might be ending something with someone to start something new. Ending something that you're doing, quit a job, start your own business, but you're definitely ending a cycle. Someone definitely has a lot of regret and remorse for something here. 
Maybe you're ending a connection with someone to start a new connection. Okay, we have here the Knight of Wands. This is someone very passionate. Um, this could be you or it could be someone coming towards you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you need to make a decision. So you might have a couple of people coming towards you. This is the Don Juan, Don Wanda though. But there is a two of cup connection here. Partnership, a love connection. King of Pentacles. Okay, I see that. I was thinking you were more of a King of Pentacles. But whichever way it goes, King of Queen of Pentacles, there is a match coming together. A stable match. Something you might be entertaining this Queen of Cups, but I think this king and queen looks like a better connection. Whether you're the king or queen, it does not matter. Both stable, both good with their money. We have the apple. Okay, I'm thinking apple of the eye, a teacher maybe um, with the apple. Something to do with apple. Okay, king of pentacles. Okay, let me do something on the Knight of Wands. I skipped over that. I went right to the King of Pentacles. Notice that? <laughs> and then we have, ooh, this is Divine Timing, Destiny, King of uh, the Knight of Wands. Someone wants to take control here. Someone wants to come in and approach you. So let's see, Knight of Wands. Okay. All right, guys. Now let's see what the word is. Okay, let's start with this. I'm going to start with the Queen of Cups over here. What's the scoop on this Queen of Cups? We have sexual honest the X okay so this did feel like an X energy so this energy here is coming in and being honest with you this X they want to get sexual okay they're desiring you what about this page of Pentacles we have here cheater accused cheater let's do that love okay someone's accused someone cheating in love so maybe that's why this you broke it up with this queen of cups has come back in maybe he or she cheated on you okay and someone's saying something apology surprise love okay so this queen of cups is coming in and is going to surprise you they're going to apologize they want to get sexual here but this person might have been someone that cheated on you okay let's see about this King of Wands, which I feel like it was your energy here. Let's see. We have fear, feelings, present. Okay, so someone is fearing their feelings in the present. Or feeling what kind of feelings that someone else might be bringing to them. They're not sure about the... And I do feel like this is the present energy. Okay, what about this Knight of Wands? We have here pleasure, desire career okay so this knight of wands could be your energy too that you might be having a lot of pleasure and desire in your career or it could be that someone that you meet in during your career is bringing you pleasure and desire okay what about the page of swords what's the scoop on this page of swords we have here mystery denying caring Okay, so here's a page of swords that is spying on you, watching you, wanting to know what's going on. But they might de be denying that they actually even care about anything you're doing here. It's a mystery. But the thing is that you are a mystery because you're not letting people know what's going on in here. Page of swords and the six of wands because they're, you are having a victory here. Okay, let's see. What about, let me do the queen of pentacles first. The queen of pentacles we have married admitted married Ooh, married admitted married look how this is a small marriage this is a big marriage so this person might be married but maybe they're admitting they want to be married to you or this could be your energy i'm feeling like you're more the king in this but let's see let's see what the scoop is here on the king of pentacles we have phone call immature intruder freedom okay so there's some kind of phone call either you're making or some or it's coming to you it might feel like it's someone's being immature they're intruding but maybe this is an ending here there's freedom but this bringing in freedom somehow if it makes sense you'll know it if it's not for you it'll be solely confusing but if it's not confusing then it's probably for you okay let's see what signs you could be dealing with. what are the signs here for virgo what are the signs scorpio let me just move this up better. Make sure things are flat for the dice. Scorpio. 
Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Aries. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. The weird how we got the Emperor here twice, and now we have the Aries. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles. I was forgetting what that was there. Okay, so this you know, placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Aries. Now we'll do the letters. Eleven letters for initial. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last initial of someone's name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have S O G K I F Z F B N B. Okay, so letters we have for you they are S O G K I F Z F B N B. Okay. Now we'll do the names. Let's see what names want to know for Virgo. What are the names? Martha came out. And who's this? Put these up. Martha and Carrie jumped out. Okay. And Carrie is spelled K-A-R-R-I-E. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have Geneva. Geneva. Gen, Gen, Geneva. J-E-N-N-I-E-V-A. We have... Claudia Gaurav G-A-U-R-A-V Philip 1L Hardeep H-A-R-D-I-P Rachel R-A-E-C-H-E-L-L-E -E -L -L -E, Eli E-L-E-I-G-H Elsa Need one more and then we're done with the names let's see one more from the bottom here and we have Carol. Okay, so those are the names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know what resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go ahead and check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. That might resonate with you more at this time. All right, guys. I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.